Hi everyone. Today we're going to be continuing our PLC learning series looking at HMI. Now a human machine interface or HMI is present in, in some form for every PLC. The HMI connects a user to the machine system to exchange information or control data. This interaction to the system can be through hardware or software. Now, HMIs offer different people information and control in many ways for the automated systems. Operators, supervisors, mechanics, electricians, engineers, and programmers all have different needs. Now the machine HMIs must provide or take the information easily for all the people who use the system. We will now look at some of the ways that human machine interfaces or HMI are used in automated systems today. Let's get started. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there'll be links in the description below that will start you at video one. There'll be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. So programmers and Maintenance personnel will use the light emitting diodes on the input and output cards of the PLC. Now what I can do is I can show you the PLC right here and we will just plug this in. And what you will notice is that we have um, LED display screens here and on those LEDs you can see the status of the actual inputs themselves. So if we turn the first three on, you will see the three LED indication lights indicating that we have a signal. And a discrete input LED on a PLC input cart indicates that the signal is being received. The connected input can be switched on or off to determine if the wiring or sensor and PLC input are functioning correctly. An LED on the on the display discrete PLC output card indicates that the output is being turned on. And if the actual output is not operating, then the wiring output device or PLC output can be checked. Analog inputs and outputs will have the output voltage or range displayed. This is good troubleshooting information without having to use external meters or measure or external meters to actually measure that voltage. Now, some PLCs like this one here, will offer information to the user. Now the operation mode and other information is usually displayed. Some PLCs will offer the ability to program the display for custom messages for the automated control systems. Automated systems will usually have documentation and wiring diagrams within the control panel. This, this can be missed or un, unreadable over time. So many modern controllers will have QR codes that can be scanned so the latest information can be viewed for the item scanned. A smartphone is usually used the interface to review this information. So here this PLC, here's my scan QR code that I can scan for this particular input card. And here's my different modes here for my controller. So the next, uh, that was our programmable controller itself and the hardware or the inputs and output status indication, the CPU indication. Next, the, for human machine interfaces, we also have the actual PLC programming software. So if we call up, we'll look at the do more that we have online here. And most PLC programming software will offer some online monitoring of inputs and outputs. And here I'm online and monitoring this program I have. And you can see here, here's my output, it's actually being turned on. So we can see the actual logic of the controller and what is currently happening within that controller. Now, the program using the software can be written, monitored, modified, and debugged. So this HMI tool can be vital to keep um, a maximum machine uptime. And then what we can see is next we'll have our traditional, when I say traditional, uh, operator panels. And operator panels are usually um, for actual running of the system itself. And there are several different ways HMIs control the machine or process. Now push buttons and lights 
can be individually added to the system. This is the simplest and universally understood in the industry. And if we can take a look at that if we call up our information here. And here is our push buttons and switches that we can add to the controller in order to control this machine. And you can see that we have lights as well right here. Once we get to a, a certain number of lights, then what we actually will want to do is go back to our HMI itself. And the industrial panels are usually fully programmable and provide power and flexibility through a vast set of features. Screen objects such as toggles, slide switches, selector switches, throw switches, thumbwheel switches, meters, PID uh, face plates, analog digital clocks, all can be programmed easily when you have more than a few physical push buttons and lights. And this HMI panel can be a better cost option for you. Now, depending on the models that you have, uh, we also can include things like remote apps, remote access, built-in web servers, FTP servers, sending emails, etc. Now, now, one of the most common things to do today is actually have remote control using the operator's personal phone. This can happen without touching the actual machine itself. So that's why we have remote uh, phone systems here that we can actually view the machine and allow the operator to actually operate this machine. Next, what we have is we also have SCADA systems. Now, SCADA is a communication protocol and supervisory control and data acquisition which is a SCADA is a communication tool that allows you to interact remotely with the process. The software usually collects data from several machines at a time interval. Information can then be used to control the process or logged for further analysis later. Now SCADA um, systems usually incorporate an HMI and IoT Edge solution for OEMs, system integrators, and end users. So if we take a look at a, an example of that, we can see that this is a software package, which is a, um, a SCADA type system, but SCADAs are no longer uh, relevant today. They're more to the, uh, now the internet of things. So, this particular software incorporates your SCADA, HMI, and IoT Edge solution for your OEMs, system integrators, and end users. Now the, the Internet of Things is a machine-to-machine -machine communication tool. It can present information to users, but it's not necessarily its primary focus. PLCs can now be IO, I, or Internet of, of Things Edge tech, or devices. Edge devices communicate to real-time data to a network. Now, one of the web methods of doing the real-time data communication is through MQTT. And this is a communication protocol of the Internet of Things. This is because it is a report by exception protocol, or RBE. This means that there is a state awareness and data is only sent when there are changes to the state of the device or when data values change. This reduces the amount of data talking using up bandwidth resources. And then one of the things when you're talking about the internet of things, you're also talking about your data hub and your solution for your data hub. Now you can buy that package that we just saw, or what you can do is create your own and this becomes a little more flexible for you. And what we like, I like to use is node red and it can be used as your data hub in your Internet of Things solution. Now this is a low code programming for event driven applications. It can easily log, display and communicate to several different devices. The software is also free and we have discussed this exciting package and its capabilities using several different controllers. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you subscribe button so that you can hit more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription 
to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.